still expecting this to make landfall overnight tonight as a Category 3, potentially a Cat 4, and then linger across southeast Texas through Wednesday of next week. Yeah, apparently the local HEB is a, uh, it's, it's crazy, so we're going over there. We're doing this just before the storm hits, so we're thinking on the way back we're going to get the storm and it should be kind of crazy. Absolutely no water, apart from Topo Chico Two dollars for water? They like bump up the prices. Oh look at this. The bread. No, no bread. It's the last cinnamon raisin. this afternoon and this evening. Take a look at what happens here. These again, feeder bands just continue to move across the area. You're probably going to get sick here over the next 24 hours of hearing about these feeder bands, but this will be the most impactful part of Hurricane Harvey here locally will be the amount of rainfall that we are forecasting over the next four to five days. Overnight, uh, there was a lot of rain, but I slept right through it. I didn't even notice, but right now there's a, uh, there's some outside and it's just kind of sprinkling, but, uh, we're going to be hit by a lot of uh, rain. Uh, it's kind of a little bit freaky. Right now I'm just going to go cycle to the bayou um, and see what the water level is on that. And then maybe we'll be able to get a good gauge of uh, what's really going on. So wish me luck, I'm probably going to get a little bit wet, but that's as expected. <laughs> So the rain accumulations that we saw this morning, we're almost going to push repeat on that about every day. So pretty soon, this water, as it continues to come down, is gonna have nowhere to go. quite a few inches above what it was this morning uh, and it's still raining. Uh, honestly, I don't see a good end for this. I saw a bunch of people evacuating uh, this morning. I don't know why I keep on coming outside and walking. It's a little bit stupid. I've got my friend and uh, his parents have said sure he can go walk, uh, which I'm surprised at that. Most of these houses, most of these houses are okay because they're elevated. The other places it's uh, looking pretty bleak. Alright, so this is getting uh, pretty dire over here. There's a uh, water that's getting closer and closer to these houses. Me and uh, my friend will cast. Uh, I think we're stupid or insane, something like that. Because we're, we're walking through water that we can't see the bottom of it. We're just going by sense of, sense of smell, really. No! Really bad idea. Yo, okay. Good luck, my dude. Yeah, dude. All right, it's just uh, me on my own. I think I've, I've stayed out a little bit too long. Okay, this this is the really scary thing. This morning, there were these people that put like a cross where the highest point of the river was. I came back to the uh, 
about 20 minutes ago, and the cross, it was submerged about, uh, I'd say four inches, but now the cross is fully submerged. That's about a foot in 20 minutes, and that's real bad. Oh, fuck, you gotta be kidding me. Is that a car right there? What is... This car right here is... Did, did you see that car go in there? Yeah, and they are staying in that house here on the corner. The wife was hysterical. They just grabbed their stuff and they left as fast as possible. I was talking, I was talking to the husband and it wasn't registering, but we have to start to move stuff. We just have to, because it's going up really fast now. Rain total forecasts again are off the charts, 30 inches plus. We've already had half or more than half of I that in many spots. This will be the last time we talk about Harvey. We, got, we have that going for us because Harvey, this name will be retired uh, once it's done. You know, Houston is the energy capital of the nation. The resources that are gonna pour in here to help us will be tremendous. We all, we're gonna recover from this. Just stay as calm as you can. Take a deep breath. We will all get through this together. It's the next morning. We got the boat out. Like our next door just got a tiny bit flooded. But there are some houses around here uh, that I guess we're going to check out on a via boat. All right. Um, all right. Here's here's what's going on as of right now. Um, it's about ten thirty, and the water is this close from coming into our house. It's completely flooded outside. Well, okay. Let let me list out the positives. A. We have electricity. B. Internet. C. Running water ish. I'm not sure if. You know we're trusting it right now like um, my friend's been saying you know he's been getting sewage water in his um, shower so we're doing all right here um, we're kind of trapped inside here f physically but we you know you can still contact the outside world cellular data still works see there's a point where the footage just goes it it just gets corrupted on my um, computer and I'm really I'm really quite annoyed about that I've tried to fix it I've done everything I've can I've I can like the footage is just it's out. I woke up at about seven, looked outside. I went boating with it seems so long ago, but um it was really calm outside so I went on the boat with my brother to go look at the bayou to see how full it was and it was very close. I think I actually got footage of that. So after that um a Greek family they called us and they said um you know we would like to come over to your house because they've got a one story so we uh had to get out the inflatable boat pump it up um bring them over and they're they're quite elderly so it's kind of it was really difficult to you know move them around and stuff so we had to bring them over across the street and they stayed here but they were always on edge and the man he's got like a heart condition and uh, his blood pressure kind of sensor was going off constantly. You know, they had a son um, that was supposedly gonna pick them up um, in a truck, and it's, out, out here it's just way too deep, and there's no way a truck was able, gonna be able to pick them up. Um, and we didn't really have the heart to tell them that it wasn't gonna happen. 
and they were just waiting by the door the whole time. Anyway, so like finally, you know, I think we knocked a little bit of sense into them and we started, you know, waving down a few boats and stuff. Most of these boats around here are just people volunteering, you know? So, and like an actual rescue boat came around the corner, like the, the most premium boat, you know, you could want. And so we tell the Greek people, yo, this is your boat. You know, we talked to the response team people on the boat and um, they were saying, you know, we're, we're just dropping people off to this one place and the, I don't know why, but the Greek people had uh, in mind that they were gonna meet their um, grandkid at a certain point that wasn't that place and the Greek people, they didn't want to go on the boat and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So we pretty much just told them, yo, if you're gonna go, you have to go now. We got a call a few hours later and they reunited with their grandkids, so that was a little bit of a, a weird experience. Um, there's only about three families left on our street, all the rest have just evacuated and I'm pretty sure most people to the right of us have as well. Um, their streets are kind of a little bit worse um, and like the whole day we've just been seeing boats go past and past with families in them. Um, our, our street is kind of like a highway for the boats, I guess. It kind of feels weird because I'm sitting here with like my computer running, you know, I've got warm pajamas on, electricity, got running water, um, and it just kind of feels weird. It doesn't feel like I'm in a, like a disaster zone, um, even though there's like people evacuating, even though half of my, like more than half of my street has uh, evacuated. A much decreased rainfall forecast compared to last night at this time. So that's good, but it's bad that it's still raining because we just can't handle any more. It's all just causing the bayous to continue to rise out there. All right, just woke up. Let's look at the damage. Ah, oh, fluff. Um. It's gonna like make a water rescue or something. gone up one inch since like this morning. You're just telling us what you've like been told, right? I think. We're not gonna argue with you. Yeah, 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 I'm just asking, yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mandatory. Alright, right, we okay, have to go. Alright, so uh, we have to pack now. We are evacuating. Are? Yep. So, um, this project is gonna have to wait. Um, I was gonna upload it today, so I thought I had some time, but they're saying we gotta get out now. So, um, I'm just gonna hope that like a power surge doesn't come through. I'm gonna unplug my computer and stuff. But, uh, guys, um, I'll try and film as much as I can, but uh, we're, f we're fluffed. This is going to be one hell of a vlog. But um... But uh, gotta hurry quick, gotta get stuff into a bag. Alright guys, I'll see you on the other side.